Have you ever wondered how they do it? Behind every great piece of art is a story, a person with experience, skills, and prized creative secrets. We've convinced some of Malta's most prominent contemporary artists to give us an exclusive behind the scenes look at the making of their work and to open up their process as they bring new original art to life. The Open Art Studio series offers a rare glimpse into how art is made and is dedicated to art lovers, artists and aspiring artists alike. Vanya, thanks for joining us. You're originally from Bulgaria, but you've been living in Malta for 14 years now, and we can see in your work some incredible images of the local scenery. How would you describe your work? Hello, thank you for having me. I describe my work as uh, impressionistic. I paint landscapes, uh, cityscapes, um, also florals, uh, seascapes, portraits, abstracts everything what is beautiful and make you feel happy. So we're here to get a bit of a behind the scenes look at your process. What are you going to be showing us? I'm going to uh, show you local scene, um, dinner with beautiful fields. I'm going to demonstrate impasto technique with palette knife. Okay, so this impasto technique, what's the effect of doing this? Uh, the impasto technique is um, when you apply uh, thick layers of paint, uh, usually with palette knife. Also, it can be done uh, with, uh, with brushes, but I prefer palette knife because um, you, you can control the texture. Some places uh, you can uh, do it thicker, so it stands out, and another thinner. This technique uh, gives uh, movement, energy to the painting, and the paint you use is uh, oil. You can use acrylic, but um, it's better because it's thicker. So tell us about your choice of paints. I chose Rembrandt oil paints uh, because uh, they are one of the best brands in the world. They are extra fine quality, pure pigments, brilliant intense colors, which is very important for my vibrant um, work. And you know, it's not all about how talented artist you are, but also it's very important what art products you use. I never compromise with the quality. When people see my paintings, they always say they like my colors. And I love Rembrandt for that. So what are you going to be demonstrating for us and, and what have we got here? I'm going to demonstrate um, impasto technique. But at, at home I did the sketching and the first layer with um, thin paint with brush. So I can continue with palette knife with the thick paint. Okay, I'll let you get on with it. Thank you. Sometimes I, I use the, the pure pigment. I, I, I'm not mixing the, the paints because the colors are very bright and vibrant. And uh, sometimes I, I mix the paint and apply. Usually I, I'm working in the high key. My paintings are light. I'm very spoiled. I have every color you can imagine. Especially this green, I love it. Because with, with the palette knife, with the impasto technique, I usually put them straight. But I really love them, the, the Rembrandt. They have very big range. They have 120 colors. I always paint with them. I have much more at home. See this yellow, for example, how bright is the color. And uh, when you mix it, it's glossy. They're still very strong colors because uh, they're very pure pigments. Okay, let's start then. Sometimes I, I take photos and sometimes I find them on the internet. But I, I use them like a source uh, because of my style. If you, if you use them like for real, realism, it's um, different. Sometimes I find it and, and when it's the, the photographer, I contact them and I ask them. Usually they, they tell me yes. 
but to find that particular light and that particular time with with this particular grass color and and light of the sun and it's very difficult i i i spent a lot of time to look even sometimes you see some fantastic view and when you take take it with the camera it's like hmm, that was the fantastic view I use sort of optical mixing, I applying dots, um, but for me it's more important to be to reach that emotional effect. And that, that is when, uh, you know, when you celebrate and when you feel happy, you can see people uh, throw confetti or champagne or it, they, these dots are always, you can see different, different colors and celebration. That is, it's like it's subconscious, but um, make you feel good. The series is brought to you by Allura. Allura works with leading local artists to showcase outstanding art and to show you what goes into making it. For original paintings by some of Malta's most sought after artists, visit the Allura Art Collection at www.alluraart.com. <laughs>